Hey, all right, it's 520 right now. It is Wednesday, and even though it's not Friday, we're still celebrating Red Friday. Kind of weird to wrap your mind around, but uh, it, we could call it maybe Wednesday because we are going to win tomorrow when our Chiefs take on the Texans. This year, the longstanding Chiefs Kingdom tradition is marking its 29th year. So our Abigail James is joining us from McDonald's and Lee's Summit for the big event they have every year before the first home game. The Red Friday flags just went on sale. Uh, Abby, tell us about this year's flag. What's it look like? Joe, yeah, well, this year's flag pays tribute to the Chiefs' uh, uh, Super Bowl win. Check this out. It sports this championship design logo. Of course, these flags change every single year. I'm going to have to say this is probably my favorite naturally just because it includes Super Bowl champions on it. Now, people have been in line to get their hands on this flag out here at this Lee Summit McDonald's since before 5 o'clock this morning. Cars have been spilling out of this parkway, sometimes even wrapping around all the way out onto blue uh, blue uh, parkway this road that's right out here in front of us so tons of people already just can't wait to purchase these now of course you can buy one of these flags for a, a minimum five dollar donation at kansas city area mcdonald's as well as st joe and also kansas city area high v's there are 135 locations where these can be purchased now because of the pandemic these are also on you can also purchase these online this year that can be that um, website is shop.chiefs.com that will be for a minimum 10 a dollar donation to be able to purchase those online. Now, if you do buy these in person, they're asking that you pay with a $5 bill unless you want to go ahead and donate more money. That way they can uh, minimize the contact during that transaction. Now, of course, purchasing one of these flags, the proceeds uh, go towards such a great cause. We'll tell you where your money goes and how much has been raised over the past couple years coming up in 30 minutes. Reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV 5 News. All right, everybody getting pumped up. Thank you, Abby. Can't wait. Tomorrow, though, right here in Kansas City, the Chiefs taking on the Texans at 720. The countdown has begun, and today, even though it's Wednesday, the Chiefs are celebrating their 29th edition of Red Friday. Yes, this means you will now be able to get your hands on this year's Red Friday flag. Abigail James joining us live from the McDonald's in Lee Summit. This is always such a fun event this year, Abby. A long-standing tradition. So many people can't wait to get their hands on the flag, but also this one is very special. Can you show that to us? Yes, this one is indeed very special. That's because it is celebrating the Chiefs uh, it's a Super Bowl win. It has this awesome championship design theme on it. Of course, just like every year, you can get your hands on one of these flags for a minimum of a $5 donation uh, at various Kansas City area and uh, St. Joe McDonald locations, as well as Kansas City area high V's. Now, of course, the proceeds for this flag go to a very awesome charity. It's the Ronald McDonald House Charities of Kansas City. And joining me this morning is Tammy Greenberg. She is the CEO of that charity. Tammy, go ahead and tell us how much has the have these flags raised and Red Friday raised over the years? Well, in the seven years prior to this year, Red Friday has raised $1.8 million for Ronald McDonald House Charities. We are a $5 million organization every year serving families with sick kids. So we need that money and this year more than ever in this difficult 2020. And quickly go ahead and tell me what this benefits. This is a picture of Isabel. Isabel right here lives in Wichita. She has spina bifida. When she needs surgeries, her families come to Kansas City and stay with us at Ronald McDonald House Charities. That's what we do. We take care of families with sick kids. Whether there's a pandemic or not, we take care of families with sick kids. And that's what all of this money today goes to support. And all the money stays right here in Kansas City. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome charity. Great. Um, thing to come out here. You'll get a flag and of course uh, your money will go towards such a great charity. Uh, this is the eighth year that Kansas City area Red Friday proceeds have benefited the uh, the Ronald McDonald Charities of Kansas City. For now reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. All right, Abigail, thank you so much. I love your Chiefs masks. I have a feeling we might see a lot of those come tomorrow <laughs> night.